Jesus Christ, light of the world, you shine upon us. Jesus Christ, light of the world, the darkness has never overcome you. Jesus Christ, light of the world, may your kingdom come. May your will be done in Africa as it is done in heaven. together 
in the embrace of your love this morning. But even as we gather in the embrace of your love, there is trembling within our soul. For we know just how far short we fall of being deserving of that love. And so even as we enfold ourselves within your arms, we want to say how deeply sorry we are. For the things that we have done and the things we have said and the things we have not done and the things we have not said in the past week. We know we have hurt you. We know we have brought dishonour upon you. We know we have <laughs> have presented an image of you that the world has misunderstood and so Lord as we come before you we allow your arms to embrace us may we hear your gentle voice Your loving voice, your reassuring voice, speaking forgiveness, speaking cleansing, speaking renewal into our lives. May we hear your gentle voice asking whether we love you. And may we, as confidently as we are, Say, yes, Lord, you know that we love you. Yes, Lord. We love you. Know the depths of our hearts. You know we love you. May we hear your firm instruction sending us on our way. Go. And feed my lambs. Go tend my sheep. Go and love in a new way. We place ourselves in your arms, not just to receive your welcome, but to receive your work in our lives, not just to receive your work in our lives, but 
to receive the task you have for us. And we do all this in and through the name of Jesus, our Lord and our Saviour, as we join him in prayer, as we sing together, our Father. Um, the scripture readings will be read by Veronica today. We ask her to come forward and do three consents. Good morning. mountains, bounding over the hills. My lover is like a gazelle or a young stag. Look, there he stands behind our wall, gazing through the windows, peering through the lattice. My lover spoke and said to me, Arise, my darling, my beautiful one, and come with me. See, the winter is past. The rains are over and gone. Flowers appear on the earth. The season of singing has come. The cooing of doves is heard in our land. The fig tree forms its early fruit. The blossoming vines spread their fragrance. Arise, come, my darling, my beautiful one. Come with me. The second reading, reading is from the New Testament, Ephesians 6, 10 to 20. children and parents. Oh, sorry, the armor of God. Finally be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the, devil, against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and, and after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then, 
with a belt of truth buckled around your waist, with a breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all, kind, with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints. Pray also for me that whenever I open my mouth, words may be given me so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. This is the word of God. Thank you. Our gospel lesson for today comes from the gospel of Mark chapter 7. And I read some selected verses. It's not that the other verses aren't important. It's just to make the reading slightly less um, lengthy and to catch the gist of what the passage is saying. Some Pharisees and teachers of the law who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus. They noticed that some of his disciples were eating their food with hands that were ritually unclean. That is, they had not washed them in the way of the Pharisees and people should, said people should. For the Pharisees, as well as the rest of the Jews, follow the teaching they received from their ancestors. They do not eat unless they wash their hands in the proper way, nor do they eat anything that comes from the market unless they first wash it. And they follow many other rules which they have received, such as the proper way to wash cups, pots, proper, copper bowls, and bowls, beds. So the Pharisees and the teachers of the law asked Jesus, Why is it that your disciples do not follow the teaching handed down by our ancestors, but instead eat with ritually unclean hands? Jesus answered them, How right Isaiah was when he prophesied about you. You are hypocrites, just as he wrote. These people, says God, honour me with their words, but their heart is far away from me. It is no use for them to worship me because they teach human rules as though they were God's rules. You put aside God's commands and obey human teaching. We go to verse 14. Then Jesus called the crowd to him once more and said to them, Listen to me, if all of you, and understand. There is nothing that goes into a person from the outside that can make them ritually unclean. Rather, it was comes out of a person that makes them unclean. And then from verse 20, and he went on to say, it is what comes out of a person that makes them unclean. <coughs> For from the inside, from a person's heart, come the evil ideas which lead them to do immoral things, which rob, to rob and kill, commit adultery, be greedy, and all sorts of evil things, deceit, indecency, jealousy, slander, pride, and folly. All these things come from inside a person and make them unclean. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Let's pray. Shine a light, Lord, on your word, that your word may shine a light into our lives. that we may see as in a mirror what needs attention. May we not see and do nothing about it. May the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart be acceptable in your sight our Lord and our God. Amen. Amen. 
a long, long time ago, in a far away land. Yes, it was a long, long time ago. Many, 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 many days ago. A king rose to power. An evil king. A king who ruthlessly dealt with all people in his way. His power was fear and death. Like all evil kings, or most evil kings, he was small in stature. But as you looked big, to everybody else. And this evil king not only took control of that faraway land, but extended his kingdom throughout the world. More than any other evil king, this king conquered the world. Many resisted him and paid the price. Some just gave in. But on the shore of the Indian Ocean, a tiny village held out against the king, stood firm. And this tiny village had a magic potion that made them invincible. And with this magic potion, They were able to stand against the evil king. And they had their own king. And they said their king was the real king. And everybody laughed. And the evil king also laughed. How funny that your little king should be the king. When I have all this power. But they held out and they went on adventures. They went on adventures throughout the world, powered by this magic potion. They stood against the evil king. And so they gathered. They gather in little councils, small in number, not many, and they await instructions for their next adventure. Our adventure my friends, in this world, one of the big problems is marriage and family breakdown. Love has become distorted. We don't celebrate love anymore. The evil king has brought in division. Divisions that go through all people but has affected families in a very real way.
Our King is sending us out on an adventure. Should you choose to accept your mission to make a difference in the families of this world? Starting with our own families. The problem is that we have forgotten how to love. Love is a selfless giving to the other. We've got far too many, far too much, grab, 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 in self-giving, in love. So drink your full of the magic potion, of the love of God. Drink your full of the love of God, that empowered by the love of God, you can stand against the evil forces of this world. Out of the love of God that fills your life, go out and bring that love into the family. Selfless love. Husbands, wives, parents, children, brothers, sisters. Let us love, starting with our own family. And let us show the world how to love. Let us show the world that this magic potion works. That this love of God that fills us can bring healing and reconciliation to all families everywhere. And one of the other problems that we are facing as the world that's affecting the family very badly and also affecting everybody else is the way we speak. The way we speak. People speak evil about others. The way it works is that while they are not present, we feel free to tell others just how bad they are. We don't have to lie about it. It's truth that we are talking. <laughs> but it is evil to talk about somebody that's not present in a negative way. How often do we hear husbands getting together, bad-mouthing their wives? Or women getting together, bad-mouthing their husbands? How often do we hear parents coming together and talking bad things about their children? How often do we have children getting together and talking bad things about the parents? It is an evil scourge of our society. It is fed by this little king that sneaks in, sneaks in, giving him the slightest gap and he gets in. And he spreads his evil. And the evil grows. Let us, my brothers and my sisters, my friends, let us speak against this practice. Let us draw a clear line. When somebody has done wrong, we don't speak about it to others, we speak to them 
about it as our king has instructed. Our king has said, if somebody does wrong, speak to them. First person to person, then if they don't listen with some witnesses, then if they won't listen with some of the elders of the church, but speak to them in their presence of the evil they've done so that they can change their ways. Never, ever, ever, under any circumstances, speak about somebody's evil when they are not in the room. That's an evil. That's a sin. Let us use the power of that magic potion to speak words of love wherever we can and if we don't are not able to speak words of love to rather stay quiet. The adventure that I'm sending us out on is not going to be easy. When we walk out of this church, when we walk out of this, sorry I lost character, when we walk out of this village gathering, and we stand around outside, you'll possibly start hearing. You'll possibly start hearing somebody say, you know what so-and-so did? You know how wrong so-and-so was? You know that when, when that person came into church, they didn't even sanitize their hands. Sending you out, friends, to stand against it. To not participate in it. To not encourage it. To not even give it your a year. To not listen. And when people start, start looking for something positive to say about the person. Speak good of people. And encourage people to speak good. Because when we speak good of people, we allow this power of love to make a difference. This is our King's command. This is our King's desire. I know the evil king doesn't want it. And he will do everything in his power to stop you. But resist. And use the power within. The power of love. To make a difference. Not just with families, but outside all in the world. The rule is clear. The rule cannot be any clearer. The rule should never be confused. Speak good of people in their absence. Speak of their evil to their face. Tell others how wonderful people are. Tell them you need to look at this. You need to change this. There is no other way to make a real difference in the world. Go. I'm sending you on this mission. Next week we will come together for a great banquet and we'll be able to share our stories. Thank you. For those of you that, um, that know anything about Aztecs and Oblics, a lot of the way I try to speak was inspired by, by them.
but it was inspired even more so by our scripture readings for today. Um, and I hope that we heard the mission that God is sending us on for this week. Let's go make a difference by acting with love and speaking positively to about people. Right, shall we then sing the song that will guide us in this mission that we are going on? Make me a channel of your peace. stand if I can just um, quickly mention um, next Saturday please support and let others know too to support our, um, our spring bry market. Um, bry goodies, sick, um, white elephant goodies, cake sale and some children's activities that, that will be organized. Please join us and celebrate. Next Sunday we also start with our um, our godly play, the Sunday, Sunday School, it starts up next week. And then um, to speak about the services next Sunday, half past seven, 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 seven half past eight, eleven, six o'clock. Four services at which there will be communion available. We ask that although we don't have a problem with this service, the numbers here, um, but we ask that we spread out a little bit, especially the early service, um, but maybe even more so the evening service, the seven o'clock service. Um, nobody comes to that at the moment, and I've decided to keep it going. Uh, tonight, with the evening service, we end with John Wesley. Um, tonight's um, it's the last sermon in the John Wesley series, um, The Use of Money, it's a theme. <laughs> and next week we start a five-week series on the book of James. 
and so invite you to come along if you have the ability of the sky. Thank you. So with those words, just want to thank you again for coming. Let us receive the benediction. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen.